ladies, uh, Tim Bilili. Uh, she finished uh, second uh, in the ladies uh, category uh, last It year. was a rough and tumble start yes, at the second Lagos City Marathon. Well before sunlight and the 7 a.m. starting time, the athletes were on their way. But by Anthony Oke, into the Wurun Shoki Expressway, the foreign elite athletes had put a daylight gap between themselves and the rest of the field. Through the Wurun Shoki Highway course up to the third mainland bridge, the athletes in the leading park kept pace with each other, moving at much blistering pace. Whether at the University of Lagos Unilag section, the Ibute Meta Point, or the Adeniji Adele End, the athletes did not let down the steam and the close race on the third mainland bridge. Then came the breakaway on Alfred Rewane Road, formerly known as Kingsway Road, when Geoffrey Ngasura and Kennedy Leland pulled away. Firmly left behind by the first two men and lost in the chasing second group of leading runners, defending champion Abraham Kipton shot up to a hot chase. Having caught up with them as they approached the Falam around the bout, Kipton began taking charge of the race on Awula World. By the time the athletes were on the Koyileki Link Bridge, he was on the tails of Ronnie Kibos after Leland and Ngasure had slowed down. Kipton and Kibos were in a neck and neck contest coming off the Link Bridge into Leki Phase 1. Leading as they entered the Leki Expressway, Kipton attempted a pull away, but Kibos remained with him en route law school. But Kibos could not keep up from the 40 kilometer point. Racing clear of the park once inside the Eco Atlantic City, Kipton ran to the finish with a flourish in a time of 2 hours, 15 minutes, and 23 seconds. From that day, I told Ngasura, let's move, guys. This dual, let's go. Because I was, I was not, this guy is my best mega in Kenya. And I was no. When I was behind to him, I was ready. He was followed by compatriots Kibos in second place and Timothy Kiprotic in third place. When we reached only 40 kilometers, I was very tired. Okay. I tried to maintain, but I, I did, I, I allowed that position. For the women, the Kenyans effectively shut out the Ethiopians and the Eritreans from a podium place. Roda Tanu emerged as the new champion, dethroning last year's winner, Alice Kimberly, in a time of 2 hours and 37 minutes. We were many Kenyans and many Ethiopians. Top uh, athletes they have been winning uh, many races, so I said I want to try my best. So I do my best. That's why today I won. Fellow Kenyan Frida Lodeba came second and Kimbili came third. Ilya Palmova came a stiff challenge from Philippus Sharabutu to become the first Nigerian to cross the finishing line. I won't allow him to be beating me all the time because since last year he won. We went to Joss for another marathon in November. He won again, I follow him behind. And I say this time around, no, 2017 is a different year. I have to pull him out. I know I try my best to see that I I retain my championship, but that's how normally sport is. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But what makes me is my colleagues. We are in the same state. We are together. Fola Fadekemi was the first Nigerian woman to finish. It's not easy in the training, but if person can endure, the competition will very will be very easy to win. The 2017 marathon was not pleasant for the first Nigerian woman to cross the line last year. Olamide Olua Shion passed out and had to be carried off in an ambulance for medical attention. Just in its second edition, the Lagos City Marathon appears to be growing in stature. It's been all fun and the athletes hope to return next year again. $50,000 is a whole lot of money to return for from Ethiopia, from Kenya, from Eritrea, from Asia, Europe, or North America. From the finishing line of the Lagos City Marathon at the Eco Atlantic City, Solomon Ajisiogu, TVC News, Lagos.